Hi, welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I am back with some love oracle cards for you guys. Um, separation, okay, in divine timing, guys. That's what I feel. This person does miss you, though. They definitely miss you. They're yearning for you. Who are we talking about? Your soulmate. They masking this. Okay. They do need time to heal. And they could be healing for you. So they may not be talking to you guys right now. Both of you are mirroring the fact that y'all want true love. Okay. Who are we talking about? Your emperor. Your runner. So this could be definitely a twin flame. So make couple here. Your person, a runner is a codependent man or a, a feminine, right? We're talking about energy. They fear commitment, intimacy. So they have to heal that because they're actually scared to commit. They have a deep-seated, rooted issue with commitment. But spirit has them preparing for union, okay? Yes, they do want to talk to you. Eventually, they will reach out. Okay, via phone call, uh, text message, what I'm saying. That's what she said. What I'm saying. Thank you, Spirit. Either phone call or text message. <laughs> okay. Because I just feel like saying, ain't nobody going to call me phone call or text message. Okay. They're thinking about you. So they may send in and say, hey, I'm thinking about you. I just want to let you know that. You know, they are making healthy choices more in their life, collective. Self-love, self-care, so they're learning from you. They want to be happier in their life, okay? So they could want to talk to you about this previous relationship they were in or this karmic they were dating, okay? They realized that wasn't a healthy choice. They picked that person based on their wounds, okay, based on their inner healing that they needed, you know, hurt people, hurt people, trauma people, people that's hurt and never healed, they look for people who match that energy, right, um, yeah, because they be stuck with that outdated thinking, so it's like, if they're hurt, they're gonna link up or be, if they're codependent, they're gonna get someone who's codependent like them, right, you're gonna meet your match, you attract per partners based on your heart, based on your healing, right? What the vibrations and frequencies that you're putting out there to the universe. So if you have a hurt heart, you haven't healed, somebody broke your heart, and you're out here dating, guess what you're going to attract? You're going to attract someone that can heal or, it, I'm just saying, and I quote, heal your broken heart, right? But in re reality, we can't look for others to heal us. We have to do the work ourselves, right? We have to ask God to heal. And then we actually have to put that plan into action. So, a lot of times when you're hurt, you're looking for someone to heal your broken heart. And then you run into the same people. Codependency, uh, abuse, uh, verbally, emo emotionally abuse, right? You end up picking the wrong people and you're like, why my picker is off? You're like, I'm just running into all these old weird dudes that's addicted and they just, you know, want sex. Exactly. That's what she said. What I just was trying to explain, right? And it's like, what you have to understand is, is that you have to get rid of that old outdated thinking and understand it's, it's because you're still hurt. So you're attracted to that toxic trait about that person, right? Um, whatever it is, right? If they give you some good compliments or give you some love, you're attracted to that person because you don't love yourself enough to know that it's okay to have a compliment, but that don't mean you need to open up everything for a person that say they like you or you're cute or they love you. That's desperate, number one. That is thirsty, <laughs> number two. And it's hurtful, right? You're just looking for someone to lick that wound, right? Um, I'm thinking like a dog. You know, when they get hurt, they go, mm, and they start licking the wound. So that's why you have to be isolated. You have to um, understand that you can't talk to these people right now. Not the people that's addicted, just want sex. That's toxicity. So you have to avoid that. 
and then you have to work on ending those patterns like i was saying if somebody say oh i like you i think you're cute you know you're just running with that come to find out they may not even like you they could be a player or they do like you but they want something else out of you right because you haven't healed your heart so you have to focus on yourself right that's where the happiness comes within you that's where your confidence is trust me i know i took me three to four years to actually really heal um and god healed me right and but i still have to do the steps i still have to learn how to meditate i still have to understand what's going on why did i allow these type of people into my life abusive people verbally emotionally right it's because i didn't love myself it's because i was trying to be codependent i never was by myself so i was scared to be alone so sometimes when you take those type of risks with people you're getting with them for the wrong reasons right a lot of times they're narcissists right and when you're not healed you don't understand the narcissist the narcissist looks for people who is not healed the narcissists look for the needy right they prey off of that right so you have to heal so you can get clarity on what you truly want right you gotta create those healthy boundaries for yourself because narcissists they will stab you in the back they will bring up old stuff maybe you tell them personal things they will put it in your face just so you can be ashamed, you know, just so you can look like you're the bad person. When in all reality, it's them. But we don't know that when we're hurt, right? So if somebody say, you're bad, it's on you, you're going to take that in <laughs> and go, oh, it is me, you know what I mean? And it may not even be you, it's just you're still hurt, so you haven't healed. You're not aware of the psychological, emotional abuse that narcissists do. And that goes both ways. And look, the truth want to come out. That's what she said. The truth. Okay. You got to say, Lord, I need you. I need you to hold my hand. I need you to heal my heart. I need you. Okay. You don't run to a man to need you. You don't run to a woman to need you. When you heal your heart, it'll come. God will bring them in. The universe will bring them in. Because the universe want to see y'all happy. You know what I mean? You don't have to do all this extra stuff that people do that's not healed. Right? You see girls out here bending over backwards just to get some love. And they think they're going to get some love by doing that. And you're not. What you're going to attract is narcissists. People that's not healed. People that's going to use you, abuse you. Okay? If you do come across your man, your true person, you probably ain't even going to know what to do with it because you've been so used to snakes. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't gonna know what to do with it because you're codependent. Okay? So, you got to heal in order to find true love. Okay? I'm not gonna do up too much on that. What are the messages? Okay? So, your person is masking the fact that they do miss you. Okay? Understand that. This person doesn't want to be separated anymore. So some of y'all, y'all separation is coming out of that separation phase. Okay, you will begin a new phase on your twin flame soulmate relationship. Okay, but ask God, book a reading. Make sure these are the messages for you. Don't just assume this stuff, guys. Okay, but whatever relationship they was in, this karmic sabotaged. Okay, she had a lot of options. She tried to sabotage with different partners. Okay, she tried to... This made me think of put a nail in the coffin. Uh-huh, your twin. Yep, 911. Your twin maybe had to call the police on this karmic. She may be going to jail. She could have tried to hit him with a hammer or fight with a tool here. He was engaged to this karmic here. So, just understand this person was seducing people online. Again, outdated thinking. So, they engaged with this karmic. And this karmic was seducing people online, guys. I can't make it up. Seducing people online. Even had a lesbian relationship. She was talking to men and women. Taking chances, meeting people. And broke your person's heart. So, he broke your heart and in turn got his heart broken. Okay, that's kind of how it goes. It's like what goes around comes around. Deja vu, Tarot. 